Butler with Woodson and Savage in the starting lineup. And for Providence, Kyron Cartwright had a career-high 26 in the first meeting between these two schools back on New Year's Day at Butler, a game the Bulldogs controlled from start to finish. Bullock will take a three. And there's Baldwin again, and he wants to push it up ahead. Aggressive freshman Kamar Baldwin end to end. Tough shot off glass. Savage, hands off for Fowler. Nice dish and the finish by Nate Fowler. And it was a good defensive position. One, and here come the Friars the other way with Cartwright. Over to Lindsay, open for three. It's good, and the crowd finally can cheer about something in here. Deep three for Baldwin, and Cartwright goes high for the rebound. Cartwright through the lane. Counted, and the foul. Wow. That's right, Chris Holtman really fighting transition for Providence. Is that what Ed Cooley told us he was all about in this game? He wants them to stop the ball early. Cooley going up to 32, almost 33%. Shrabis goes to the ground. They were looking for a foul on Cartwright. They don't get it. In transition, Lindsay lays it in. And Providence, believe it or not, has the lead. I'll tell you, here's where Butler needs Keelan Martin to get going again. Wow, Cartwright splits the D. We take a look at the updated standings in the Big East. Villanova, without Darrell Reynolds, just won at Xavier today. So the Wildcats now have some real separation in the Big East. They've got second foul on Tyler Lewis, team foul number six on Butler. So Providence will go to the line. Look at the hustle. McDermott takes it away and oh. throws it down. Three ball by Jackson is good. That's the fourth three of the half for Providence. A uneven first half. Well, you got one team seven for 24, Providence, and Butler eight for 28. Jackson shoots with 10 on the clock and hits to tie it up, but still five seconds to go. Here's Savage with three. Savage puts it up and gets the roll at the horn. Baldwin over to Fowler for three, and he hits. Now, Nate Fowler has only attempted 17 threes in his career. He got lost that was open for three. This is the largest lead of the day for Providence, but uh, for Butler, rather, but Providence cuts into it as Bullock has the basket and one. Not guarding. A little different story today at Providence. Travis feeds Fowler. Tough shot down low, and Nate Fowler winning them, win or lose after this game. Bullock turn around, and the rebound Diallo put back, and the foul. Alpha Diallo with a chance at a three-point play. 12 points for Fowler. Bullock tips it back up and in. Now, something to keep an eye on for the Bulldogs. Fowler again. Yes! Wow. Three for three from deep for Nate Fowler. This is after Butler was 0 for 8 shooting threes in the first half. Bullock from Pawtucket, and he answers. Hey, Baldwin up ahead to Lewis. Lewis the lob, and Martin finishes down low. Now Providence has fallen asleep. Been, he was wide open in the corner. Those are shots you got to make. Cartwright wide open for three. It's good! Kyron Cartwright drills the triple, and we got a one-possession game. Martin, short on the shot, and Diallo takes it away. 8.40 to go. Cartwright, oh, in and out, but he'll shoot two. Shrabis, and there it is. Andrew Shrabis, his first field goal of the day. Play zone. Cartwright for the lead. You bet! This place has erupted with seven minutes to go. Travis and the foul! What an answer from Andrew Travis. Oh, good dribble penetration, kick it out to Chiron Cartwright for the three, and then Andrew Travis wheeling down low when they need a basket. He seems to get it done. And Ed Cooley happy. Friars down one in the 60s. Three ties, six lead changes today. The biggest lead either team has had is six by Butler. Holt for three, it's good. 
Emmett Holt, just a 32% three-point shooter, and he bangs it in. And again, the dribble penetration led to that three. When Weidman went in to help, he left Holt alone. Jackson drives, left-handed score. Isaiah Jackson gives Providence a four-point advantage. Is guarded by Diallo. Three for Baldwin, it's good. Sweet stroke from the freshman, Kamar Baldwin. Clock over to Bullock for another deep three. And the rebound to Lindsey. Right back up with it, and he's fouled. Any foul that Butler commits will result Great in pass. two free throws as Diallo scores two more. Bullock the feed to Diallo. What a great cut and a great pass. Four of 15 today. Travis guarded by Diallo. No double. Travis over Diallo for two. You have to double with Diallo. Diallo is 6-5. Maybe Travis and the lead back down to one. And now they go inside to Diallo on, on Lewis. Good move there. Diallo has picked up his play down the stretch. He's got 13. And Ed Cooley told us that they're going to look to post up when Butler goes with the small guards like Tyler Lewis. Going to post him up, and he's been true to his word. They better double him. They feed Travis. Cartwright helps. Out to Lewis. Fakes the three. Back in the hands of Travis. They're clearing it out for Travis every time. Good Danger is pass. Lewis still has it. Six to shoot. Lewis in the corner. Martin for three. <laughs> Missed it. And the weak side rebound to Jackson. Travis guarded by Cartwright. Travis. Doesn't get the roll and the rebound to Lindsay. How fortunate were they? They, they switched it on Cartwright on Travis. Up ahead, Holt lays it in. He beat him down the floor. Five point game. Martin for three. And a whistle and a foul against Butler. Well, Travis missed one with Cartwright on him and then they just don't get back. They let Emmett Holt, who basically is Providence's big guy, beat them down the floor for something easy, and then the foul there over the back. The three. Baldwin. Oh, he double dribbled. Chris Holtman. Did they tee him up? They did. Right now, you can't say that Providence is a tournament team, but if they can get a couple more of these victories here over ranked teams. 76 RPI, you beat eight today. That's giving you 10 spots. Yep. So they're gonna be in the 60s tomorrow. Obviously at home, you don't get as much bang for your buck and you miss another free throw as you do on the road, but they're not out of it yet. But Xavier and Creighton next. Opportunities coming up for Providence as the lead is down to four with 7.4 to go. Lindsay, that's gets bad it up play to by Jackson, Butler. they should have fouled. They and absolutely should have fouled. Holt, the exclamation point. And Providence picks up a win over a ranked opponent. They defeat number 22 Butler 71 to 65.